good thing is um, I don't have to do a full medical today because I'm, I'm still good from, from the last one. Um, a full medical takes about six hours. To do a brain scan, um, check your eyes for detached retinas and things like that. And there's a lot to it, but today I'm doing blood, physical, and um, neuro, I think. That's all I have to do today. So it's pretty good. Uh, one, it's going to cost me about half as much, still about 300 something dollars. Um, and two, I don't have to see it all day. So I can go home and drink in the water. So these are the Soto Karas brothers, the the boxers, and we used to train at the same gym down in Maywood. Uh, it's been up for a bunch of world champions. Era campeón de Nava, no? No, era de la LADF y de Continental. He was an NABF champion, um, and uh, his last fight was uh, at the Mandalay Bay. Uh, he's actually been in my corner for a couple of my boxing fights back in the days too. And just by coincidence, here down doing the medicals, we run into them, and you know, everyone knows everyone down here. Oh, so. everyone's not a fighter. I need to okay. help. Hey, I mean, I'll, buy, I'll, I'll fight about it. But you're not getting tested today. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Me too. We're getting kicked out. Oh, they're getting kicked out. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> is they will continue outside. <laughs> Are you a drug user? No. Are you an IV drug user? No. Have you had any homosexual behavior? Do they really ask? That's one of the questions on here. I gotta answer that. Wait, so does, does, does dressing European, does that count? Because some people think it feel that European dressing is considered Homosexual behavior. Well, I guess Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, in a way, you know, because we're, you know, grappling. Um, do you come from West Africa or Central Africa? What's that got to do with fighting? Have you been traveling in any high risk areas for AIDS? Compton? <laughs> What's a high risk at any nightclub in Hollywood because it's a high risk for AIDS, no? Do you have any history of being positive for HIV? No, I don't have any positive history for HIV. I think he's got a patient. I'm going to send you to go get your eyes dilated. Eyes. Ah. Yeah, he's my favorite part. Pictures there. <laughs> I won't be able to see anything. So this is Rose. She does all the fighters, especially in California. Um, I've known her for about three, four years now. And she's stressed. I feel sorry for her. they got two shows. Yes? Two shows in two days. Uh, no. Several shows. There's oh. seven shows this weekend. Fifty fighters though in two days. In three days. Right. Three days. Yes. So and she stressed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you paperwork to uh, fill out downstairs at the eye doctor. You need to finish it while you're down there because, like you said, when you are done getting your eyes dilated, you won't be able to read anything. So you can if I won't be able to see anything. Right. You have about 20 minutes once I put the drops in, okay, so you can fill out your paperwork. I don't get it. So after 20 minutes, we can't see. Right. You'll see my pupils being so tight, and I won't be able to see. Yes. Go ahead and wipe with the tissue. And what's the purpose of this? To check for any retinal tears, detachments, and any other types of eye disease, and cataract, cry. glaucoma, macular degeneration. Any major diseases are seen with the, the dilation. That's what I like about the state of California. They're very, very um, thorough. Ah, but yeah, oh my God, it's burning. <laughs> Go ahead and wipe with the tissue. Um, so they make the pupil really big so you look through the pupil, right? Correct. Correct. So if I were to shine a light right now directly onto your eye, your pupil would close up. So it ba basically paralyzes the muscles, holds it open. It's getting harder and harder. All the vitamin and supplements I'm taking, bloody hell. Glucosamine, glutamine, multivit, vit C. Um, what else am I taking? Vit E. Have you ever had skin or hot? What's your record now? Two and one.
right hand surgery in '98 was for what? Um, it was infection at first, then some it was college. Infection. It was infection. I was younger, and then it just I guess the bone was infected. Nothing to do with fighting or punching. Um, yeah. Stand up, do some do a squat. And uh, hop on one foot for me. Put some master's degree in. Uh, sports management. Hop, uh, hop for me. Hop on one foot. Other foot. I'll flip it off for me. So, as you can see, my, my good boy, my buddy Matt, you know, he's uh, cooking in front of me while I'm, I'm there. He's, you know, so supportive. But I'm just getting the last stuff ready right now that to bring with me. Licorice. Love licorice. So the first thing that's on my mind after I weighed in is licorice. A couple of bananas to get some potassium back into me again. Um, I got some coconut water I'm bringing. Almost forgot that. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, and... Um, Protein shake with about, hang on, so 700 calories in this, um, along with the rest of the stuff in here. A little bit of Gatorade, some more licorice, um, some chocolate, York. It's all about just putting calories on, you know, the first couple hours at least. Um, I'm gonna weigh in at 138. Watch me walk into that fight tomorrow. You're gonna see it tomorrow. Um, in during the day, we'll do a, a, an unofficial weigh-in on the scale. I'm going to be at least 152. That means I'm going to put on at least 14 pounds by tomorrow, probably more than that. But mark my words, tomorrow the scales are going to be 152 at least. I'm going to be 138 today officially on the scales. That's 14 pounds minimum. I might even be up 16 pounds. So we uh, got the sauna right here. Uh, do you know how uh, hot it is in there? We just opened it for Russian. We need to do it so that we can do it with temperature. We need about 200 degrees or something like that. So uh, I think what he said was that uh, it's hot and that we're going in right now. So see you in a few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to do five minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Don't get out. Get Don't get out. Get it. I hate the sauna. I used to like it as a kid. Since I started fighting, I hate it. 20, so another 10 minutes. Um, I told him he'll do it. Two pounds lost already. Russians, only way to go. <laughs> Got a point, it's working. Driving out to the uh, weigh-ins at the Sky Fox in Pomona. I'm uh, officially 138 pounds. Um, actually, 138.6 right now. But uh, I'm wearing cutting weight pants, which is going to help me put, uh, lose the weight. Uh, the heat is blasting in the car. It's warm enough as it is in, in Los Angeles, but. Uh, we're making a second sauna, not as bad as the one I was in before, uh, but to lose to those 0.6 pounds while I'm driving. Time management, you know, doing two things at once. Uh, feel sorry for the cameraman, you see here, it's actually 85 degrees blasting of heat in, in, the, in the car. Uh, so by the time we get out to the weigh-ins, I'll be at weight. Everything comes off, socks, jewelry, all that stuff.